everybody. Um, today, oh, surely got to be a more interesting greeting than that. But anyway, hi you guys from Australia. Um, today, I'm, my painting will be. I'm making up a medium, pouring medium, using the Montmartre PVA craft glue, because this is most places between. It's under ten dollars for one litre, so um, and it's e much easier to get in Australia, and you can get it in the US, but I believe that it's harder to get in uh, the UK. But I'm making up a pouring medium of this, so I'm just going to briefly, I'm going to do the same as what I would normally do. I pre-mix my pouring mediums, so that's in there. Pre-mix my pouring medium so I put the glue into a container usually a big bottle um, and shake and add water to it but today I'm going to just put it in this container for the sake of the video so I can show you so that's my glue and what I would normally do is just this is just uh, water H2O I would just add water slowly to it um, if it was in a bottle obviously I'd just give it a really good shake if I, I added the water to the bottle, 70-30, I'd just give it a really good shake. But if I'm, for the sake of this, I'm going to um, show you how to do it in here. So this, I don't add any set amount of mills or whatever, because I find each uh, glue or paint requires different amounts. So it is just easier, um, unless you actually know exactly how much a particular paint brand will take of pouring medium of water but and this glue I don't know so I'm just adding it slowly and it's again getting this was really quite a thick glue so this comes a lot thicker than to begin with than say my Montmartre doesn't come this thick so this would need obviously more water to I think and it's sort of getting it again to the cris uh, consistency of um, pouring cream. But this is, yeah, so I'll just keep adding the bit of water till I get it to a sort of, yeah, runny. It's got a bit of body in it, but it's not got too much. So I'm going to call that quits. That's enough on that one. Um, and... I am today doing, I will show you all the colours in a second, but firstly I'm just going to mix this one colour for the sake of just showing you what I want to get my consistency. There's about one centimetre of paint in the bottom of that cup, it's only a small cup. I'll show you all the other colours in a second, but so I just add, I'll just add 50-50 at the minute. Like I said, different paint, oh dear. <laughs> Sorry about that. So different uh, paints and different pouring mediums require different amount of paint. So I'm not giving you exact measurements because even the same brands, so as I'll show you the rest of colours, the Mont these are Montmartre metallics. Um, they'll require a lot different um, amounts than the Montmartre um, just studio acrylics. So with the Montmartre, I leave, I mean, sorry, with the metallics, if I'm working with metallics, I like to leave the metallics quite a fair bit thicker than I would um, normal, normally. Because the reason being that metallics just sink to the bottom, that's where I found, so. So I'm gonna leave this, this is just a nice, it's leaving a bit of a trace. It's leaving a bit of a trace and we're ready to get the other ingredients and move on to the next stage. But I just wanted to show you what to do if you wanted to mix your own pouring medium with the Montmartre glue. And it's quite a reasonable cost. So I'll go on to the next stage. So I've mixed, mixed all my paints. They're all Montmartre paints. That was the Montmartre, um, I think it's called Lilac in the Montmartre. Um, and I've added 
a bit of the dark red and a bit of the dark blue to give a real deep purple. That is the Montmartre White and the Montmartre uh, Brilliant Red. So they're, they're all mixed up again with the Montmartre Glue. So my metallics are mixed up and I use metallic gold, silver, uh, copper and bronze. So they're all mixed so I'm doing my normal thing except uh, in that I've mixed them and I'm going to leave them and I just cover with a damp tea towel and set that aside but I'm going I know I always add my silicon I'm just giving this a try this silicon with Montmartre because I'm using all Montmartre products so I thought I'll see what their silicon works like in their paint so I'm going to just do what I would normally do with my Helmar and in the uh, metallics, I'll just put three drops tops. So one, oh, that was about two. <laughs> one, two, I'm just gonna add two to the uh, uh, metallics because they're only smaller cups. To the bigger cups, I'll add four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three four so that's giving this oh Montmartre silicone what they've just come out with a, a go uh, as I say my supplier I get this my stuff a lot of my stuff not all of it from the supplier at the bottom of my if you press the little arrow at the bottom of this uh, video it is a drop down box and it has my supplier and uh, how I make my pouring medium etc but I have just gone through that with you so I give that silicon a really good stir in I'm not of the belief and because I've through trial and error that uh, add one drop or two drop here and don't only stir it twice that's when you get big globules of silicon and big patches on well that's what I found through my personal experience so I'm only talking my personal experience so I always stir it in well in all the cups and so it's all stirred in really really well don't want to watch me stirring but I'll go back to that and then I'm just going to cover the whole thing in a damp canvas a damp tea towel and leave it aside for when I start painting tomorrow so I'll come back and see you then So all my delicious metallic paints are um, all mixed, pre-mixed with silicone, stirred in really well. Uh, they were mixed yesterday and this is of course my trial with the Montmartre craft paint and these metallic acrylics from Montmartre. Um, so I've got the bronze, copper, gold and silver and I have added colours to them, uh, purple, pearl white and red to do this particular art piece. So what I'm going to start with is I'm going to completely cover my paint. This is Montmartre's Brilliant Red which really is a beautiful vibrant red. So I'm going to cover the whole painting with this first I'm not going to so I'm getting the fingers dirty I'm not using a brush or anything I'm using my fingers so you're doing some finger painting okay this is so vibrant this um, Montmartre Brilliant Red they're studio acrylics now I have tried and uh, the Montmartre um, oh what's the good brand in there well they call it a better quality I know they triple the price but I haven't found them to be any different than these Montmartre studio acrylics when you get them in their little bottles they are just as the when you get this Montmartre well I buy them the two litre because I use so much of it 
um, it was the same quality as the little jars but of course in the jars it's very expensive so I'm not sure what the difference is so anyway we're doing these today it's basically all Montmartre products the PVA glue so I'm doing a test to see if I can bring up the same results Yeah, that's uh, so bright and vibrant. Okay. You think I'm going crazy here to put these metallics in with this? Okay, so this is the gold, the Montmartre metallic gold. I can't get my supplies in Australia from um, an online store which I'll have the little drop down box there's my Creole Arts and Crafts uh, they're an online store and I just find it easier that they can send them out to me and they're actually no more expensive than going shopping for them myself and they, they in fact are more reasonable in lots of cases so I have put sil silicon in every one of these cups and I stirred it in well and as I said I always make up my nut paints at least the night before so this has got the Montmartre PVA glue silicone and of course I do I think I showed yeah I did show you how to um, make your own pouring medium So I want this thing, crazy woman, why is she doing that red underneath? The truth will be revealed. <laughs> and if it's like I have in my head, which I thought about last night, it should be, oh, oh, so special. So I'm just hoping it works out like I have in my mind's eye. So. That's the copper, I think, yeah. It could have been the bronze. No, it could it's bronze. Bronze, bronze, bronze. Rich and creamy. So I'm going to go over with the silver now. So it's basically all metallics bar the um, undercoat. And the swipe colour. The swipe I'm going to swipe in will be uh, just the Montmartre. Reveal my swipe and you'll think I've gone completely crazy. Okay. Well. <laughs> I'm just going to put a little bit of the copper. It's metallic copper. Just a little bit. Not too much, is it? Don't want it prefer the lighter colours because I'm going to swipe in a dark colour. So just want to put a little bit again of the pearl, metallic pearl white. Actually I'm not going to pour it on, I'm going to swizzle it, swizzle it around. See the artistic way you do this is very important. Oops. Okay. Just want to thank you very much for the absolute positive comments on my um, YouTube channel and my Acrylic Art by Chili Cube Facebook page. Had some beautiful comments, some lovely feedback and I'm very, very grateful for all the positive feedback I've been having. I'm very grateful that my YouTube channel is growing. So obviously it's free to you guys. Okay, I'll better concentrate now. So it's just gently tilting the work, your paints around, keep hold of your canvas obviously. Just tilt it, just gently. It doesn't really matter if I don't go all, all the way over the edge with this because I've got so much paint on, but I have got so much paint on so I can afford to 
take it over the edges but don't worry if you don't quite cover every edge because you can always bring up some paint from what you drip off it with your fingers and just finger pop it finger pop it pop it so just trying to always recenter your paint I'm getting a few grainy bits in there so I'm not sure if it's because I've mixed this metallic put it over a but I've done that before so that can't be the reason why it's in the silver but oh no it's in like gone a bit grainy that may be the results of the um, Montmartre pouring medium so this is what my testing and trials are all about you see in the past I've just done trials on just about every glue as, as a pouring medium on the market I think in Australia tried so many just want to see what gives you the perfect results of your own homemade pouring mediums so that looks very golden but not showing much of the red but hopefully when I swipe and when I maybe might do a few balloon action in this particular one the red will reveal itself so that's interesting actually it's already starting to come up in the little cells but it is having a bit of a weird reaction than I would normally get so fingers crossed hey so what I'm going to swipe in was the it's the Montmartre purple the violet I think it's called but I took it a bit deeper by adding dark red and a bit of dark blue I wanted it real deep you think what the hell is she going to do with this colour over those gorgeous metallics well I'm going to do a swipe and I'm going to yeah do it from the centre but just a very thin line of, it's got this fly flying about and it's really annoying me because it's going to whole room and it will absolutely land on my work but okay just a very thin line see how we go with the swipe this is the Montmartre glue test so get my trusty swipe tool excellent swipe tools soft plastic file divider if you're new to watching so it's just drop the very tip of the file divider into your swipe colour about a centimetre drag it through so this is obviously going to completely change the outcome to what you expect when you're looking at it like this so I may take a photograph just as I do this bit so I can compare the side each side oh. Oh, oh, oh look at those cells coming through so my idea was to do it in a swipe color that made everything underneath it pop I think it's going to I might just put a little bit more of the purple across there to do my final swipey bit but look at the cells coming up immediately without any heat and that's with the Montmartre pouring media uh, Montmartre PBA that's pretty amazing really I wasn't expecting that I'm not gonna sing for you but um, that's really um, can't find my phone to take I want it's interesting that you you know for you to do this too when you get to a certain stage is take photos because you might then think oh I liked it before I swipe so next time you do it you'll be reminded if you have photos there but look at this wow that's just very exciting I like it so just taking a photo above so to get the show the contrast from one side to the other so that's all cool do that get my swipe tool ready again it's all good so I'm gonna swipe back out towards you guys again just put in about a centimeter of the tip 
I'm dragging it out. I should have probably gone around the other side, would have been easier for me. Oh, look at that red coming through. This is where I'm hoping that when I hit it with the torch, and especially when I push a balloon into it, it would bring all that red through those metallics. But I can tell you I wasn't expecting this, so I didn't expect the cells to come up so well with the Montmartre PBA, but there you go. So obviously my supplier in Victoria will be getting a few more orders from me for that. Because that's really, really quite astonishing without even uh, putting the torch on it or doing anything to it. That is really happy with that result so far. So if I was to just leave it like that, that's really, really beautiful. I haven't torched it or anything. And that's all those lovely metallics under there, but they will keep rising by the look. I haven't even torched and they're all coming through the metallics, the silver. Look at this, the purple with the red. Oh gosh. I have to take a photograph of that too, because they're just gorgeous. <laughs> too excited, aren't I, about these things? But that, oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I'll take one from above. So before I torch, I'm actually only going to wave my torch over this because I don't really want it to change that much but I do want to bring see what I had in my mind I want the red to come through the metallics to get this is exactly how I would like it all to come up because you've got the red and the purple with metallics like cells within cells oh wow wait 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 see when you swipe it gives always gives that beautiful um, like negative space around your cells so it never actually looks too much like it's been swiped but oh my goodness that is stunning really stunning <laughs> oh you never think after all this time that you would just love something so much but that is gorgeous I just try and um, get you closer in on those the red and the purple coming up because it's really quite astonishing <laughs> okay oh I hope this focuses oh sorry about that that is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous really lovely Okay, before I leave you, I'm gonna do a few balloon kissing in there. But like I've told you in the past, with the balloon kissing, I like to leave my paint to dry a little. Um, well, it sort of, find, you know, uh, absorbs into the canvas, stretches out, lets the cells stretch. But I just wanna give a few balloon kissing for anybody that would take it to the next level. You might be more than happy to leave it like this. So that's where you stop if that's what you're happy with. So I'm going to just give the balloon kissing for those people that do like to go the next step with it. And I'm, I'm hoping that it pulls that red through against with the metallics and the purple. So it will look you beaut super duper, you beaut super duper. Oh, okay. So I've got my trusty balloon. This one's been up a few days. You may have seen it on other pores. It's just the nice size at the moment. So see how we go. But this will pull the wet, pull the red through. Oh yes. Oh look, and it's celled up straight away around the balloon. Kiss. That's pretty amazing. That really is amazing. And get rid of that streak. Ooh. See what I mean? Like you can tell that it's too early to put the balloon in it because as soon as I lift all the paint runs in. But sometimes 
that still gives a great effect because it doesn't actually look like a balloon it turns into it just takes on a life of its own but that's gorgeous I want to get rid of these streaks I'm not liking the streaks so much look at the red that it's pulled up there that's beautiful okay that is super duper gorgeous super duper gorgeous I'm going to give a roll so press it in roll it press it again on the end oh beautiful that's gorgeous that's coming just really really stunning everyone I mean I get some that I don't like so much but I get ones I really really like that's absolutely super duper I'm not going to do any more balloon kissing at present because that paint needs to find its way on the canvas, uh, absorb into the canvas and find its place. And then once the canvas has started to suck in a bit of the paint and dry back between 30 minutes and an hour to come back and then do a few balloon dips. Um, and they won't actually always look like a balloon kiss or a flower. Like say they turn into all manner of things, life of its own. So I'm going to leave you there and I will come back in an hour or so and see how we go. But what I'm gonna try and do at the end of all my videos is get, post the photos of the dry results so you can see what it dried like because I had so many people that are not on my Facebook page so they don't get to see the dry uh, results on my Acrylic Art by Jilly Cube Facebook page. So, but that is stunning even if I do say so myself. So if you want to try and emulate or copy that, I mean, nothing ever comes out exactly the same as someone. You'll find your own little way. Yeah, it's a little bit darker in the camera than what it looks like. So I'm not sure why, probably because I'm doing it under fluoro lights. So I'm not sure, but it's a little bit darker looking than it really is. So that's interesting. Um, but yeah, that's if you want to, like, say, I got those uh, metallic paints from my art supplier. If you're living in Australia, I'll put the link on the bottom of this video to their um, web, their lovely page that you can have a look at all their goodies. And they sell the masking tape. They sell, oh, they sell a split cut pour thing and oh they sell all manner of stuff so I get lots of my stuff from them send it to me no problems all good so thank you for joining me and what I will do is put the I'll continue on with photos of after I've re I'll come back and re-balloon it but thank you for joining me thanks so much for subscribing it's free don't ask anybody for anything but give me your thoughts on this would be appreciated and until next time, have a good life.